Hey everybody, I'm doing a video. I have uh, Miss Stardust on a leash so that I can get a good video of her outside. So Stardust came to us as a breeder release. She came in with cashmere. Uh, they are American Eskimo dogs. Uh, they came to us extremely skittish and they have come around so much even though Stardust is a little still a little jumpy takes a minute for her to warm up to you uh, she's really come close to one of our board members D who and, and actually gets so excited when D comes in um, and I'm losing my train of thought because somebody's trying to come out the door um, but um, she is has really like I said, really come around with D, and um, so she would do that with a person. They just need a chance. They've been with us a long time. This isn't the place. They can't get what they need here from us. That's why when we take them in, our goal is to find them homes so that they can start recovering from their past, especially these breeder dogs. So she's, like I said, she's very sweet. Uh, she causes no trouble whatsoever here. She gets along with all the other dogs. We don't have any issues there at all. Um, no food aggression, no any kind of aggression. Um, but again, she's skittish. She's gonna need time to bond with the person that adopts her. Uh, we prefer experienced homes um, and would love a home that loves this breed because uh, you know, they, they would be ones that would really uh, commit to uh, working with her and having her come around. She is not a, she's not aggressive in any way towards humans either. Uh, no biting, no anything like that. Nothing like that. Um, so she is heartworm positive. We've started the slow kill. Well, we started it when she came in with ProHeart and doxycycline. She's spayed now. She's up to date on everything, uh, microchipped, and she is ready to go. We hope that someone will give Stardust a chance. Um, she's not very big. She's more taller than she is big. She doesn't weigh a whole heck of a lot. Um, and we're going to start on trying to find Stardust a home, and then we're going to work on Cashmere. Cashmere is a little bit more social than Stardust, uh, and so we're going to work on Stardust first. Um, we hope that someone will come along. We are going to require a fenced-in backyard for these gals, uh, especially Stardust. She can climb a chain-link fence like nobody's business, but she doesn't climb it to get out of our yard. She climbs it to get from yard to yard and then she'll uh, jump the back fence to get inside. She wants to come back inside the rescue. Uh, so she, in other words, she doesn't jump it to get away. She jumps it to get either away from the volunteer that maybe she's not comfortable with or jumps to get inside the rescue. She has not ever tried to get out of our backyard. Um, so if you're interested in Little Miss Stardust, we welcome your application. Please look at those soulful eyes, man. Somebody, somebody's going to fall in love with her. I just know it. We just need to find that person. So share her story. It's on, she'll be on Facebook. She'll be on our website, roadtorescuela.org. And let's find this gal at home. All right, talk to you later. Bye.